Hello, good morning, Tony. Tony's LPs are us for dropping in. I've got another one of my series of uh, LPs that I have in my collection that are always in rotation in the goodie box. And this is volume three. This is a little different. It's heavy rotation of OG LPs, but it's only one song that I usually play out of these out of these albums. I'm a I'm a purist. I'll play. I don't like really like great hits. I rather the uh, song in its original uh, content, which is within uh, with within the context of an LP and the and the the way that the artist had intended it to be heard. Um, and that flow usually with concepts out concept albums as well. And I like deep cuts, which you don't get on greatest hits. And also usually with the uh, with the original album, um, you're gonna get the uh, you know the best mastering. And usually it's from the original uh, analog tapes, uh, especially if it's an OG pressing. So I don't really go for uh, greatest hits, but I do have greatest hits in my collection. Uh, first one up, that's in heavy rotation, but I only play one song for the most part, and that's the uh, Survivor album, Eye of the Tiger. That's a great album. It's, you know, uh, Eye of the Tiger was a the theme of a Rocky movie. And this album is just uh, as the original inner. This album, Eye of the Tiger, it's a different mix from the single. The drums are out there. It's so well, so well mic'd. So if you get a chance, uh, pick these up. Uh, these aren't too expensive anymore. And this is uh, produced by Frankie Sullivan, Jim Pitterick. I the Tiger first track, so it sounds really, really good. So this is what I usually play from this LP. Another one, which is a greatest hits, ironically, but it's the one I pulled out. The uh, RCA, greatest hits of Lou Reed, Walk on the Wild Side. And that's a, that's a this was a Best Buy issue. So this is a budget pressing. But let me tell you, this album sounds fantastic. And I usually just play uh, Walk on the Wild Side for people. It's demo quality. Uh, the way it's mixed and the way the uh, back singers come are, are mic'd up and come up and pass behind you. So this is what I usually play in this. It's all it's all good though. You have Sweet Jane, White Light, White Heat, Side Can't Dance, Tony Island Baby. Of course, I'll play this album in its, its entirety, but I usually just play Walk on the Wild Side. Here's another one of my favorites. This is a, a green Warner Brothers. You can see the original Warner Brothers uh, old inner. And this is Ides of March Vehicle. And I just usually play Vehicle, which is the uh, the hit on this. This is just a fantastic album. This this also includes a, um, a fabulous version. Let me see. Just bear with me here. I'm getting a reflection. Of Wooden Ships. And sympathy, sympathy, symphony for Eleanor Rigby. So I usually just play for people that stop by and want to hear something really wild. You know, it's different mix from the single vehicle. And then there's also a great jam on wooden ships to Crosby, Stills, and Nash uh, record. And that's the uh, back of this vehicle, Ides of March, super green Warner pressing. Here's another one. I usually just play the one track. Ozzy Brothers from New Jersey. Three plus three. And I usually play that lady. Who's that lady? And I think it's parts one and two. But uh, here's the Gatefold. Just a well-recorded album. Came out in the 70s on, on uh, Columbia. And uh, I'll just show you the label real here. This sounds great. On T neck, they had their own T neck, and here's a song I featured once before an album I featured once before for audiophile sound, and that's the Bee Gees' Tunes On. And I usually just play Lonely Nights 
on here. Um, the rest of the album's good, but Lonely Nights just sounds great. The piano sounds real, the way it's built up. And here's my little notes, some of the notes I have on here. But it's Gatefold, original. This is a cutout, you can see from Echo. But Lonely Nights is what I usually track on this in rotation. Here, of course, is a classic. The entire album's good. Die-cut sleeve, die-cut jacket. Killing Me Softly with his song. That clock's in at about 4 minutes, 46 seconds. And just uh, her voice is heavenly. Just fantastic. Roberta Flack. I usually just pop this in. Someone wants to hear a super female vocal. This is in rotation. And, of course, um, I would be um, negligent if I didn't put this one on, um, especially since we just lost the uh, genius Burt Bacharach. And this is the classic pressing of Casino Royale, the uh, 1967 Bond movie, Burt Bacharach. Here's a photo of him in the back. And on here, this is a four record, 45 RPM recording, uh, one sided, four records, one sided. And what I play on here is the uh, Look of Love. The Look of Love on 45 RPM by Dusty Springfield. I believe it takes up one, either one side or two sides on that, on that LP, but just uh, chills. You get chills when you hear it. Uh, the, the the one of the best soundtracks of a Bond movie, the Coljams version, is demo quality. This, of course, uh, takes it to another level. So, uh, rest in peace, Bert. And uh, you know, this is just unbelievable with Herb Albert and the Tijuana Brass, and that's the spine. So this is a uh, this is the collector's edition, and I believe these tapes were destroyed in that famous uh, infamous fire where uh, tapes and acetates and test pressings and what have you were all burned. And I believe the Casino Royale tapes were in that. So this is the best uh, next to a, a master reel-to-reel. -reel. This is the best you're probably going to be able to enjoy Casino Royale in, uh, in this uh, format. Uh, and, of course, my feature, every day I try to feature an album that's an OG pressing for my collection but has audio file properties, sonics, content, pedigree, and that's um, Blue Oyster Cult, Agents of Fortune. I'm always playing Blue Oyster Cult, Agents of Fortune, and of course I always play on this one, Don't Fear the Reaper. Don't Fear the Reaper is just fantastic. Uh, Shelly Yakis and Andy uh, Abraham are the uh, recording engineers. And I believe Shelly has a uh, little documentary just on Don't Fear the Reaper track on YouTube. It's uh, I've seen it a few times. He's famous. He's a famous uh, recording engineer. Uh, this album went platinum in the U.S. It went gold in Canada. It was released in uh, May of uh, 1976, 21st, from Columbia Records. And it's just uh, just fabulous. Platinum US, and it reached uh, number 12 on Billboard 100. Blue Oyster Cult, Don't Fear the Reaper, demo quality all the way through, audio file sound with a regular pressing. So I usually just play Don't Fear the Reaper, but this whole album has audio file quality. And uh, it's just a, a gem. It's just a gem. And that's it. Here is the the uh, LP. That's the uh, first issue. This is in really nice condition. I've had this record since 70, 76, 77. And uh, if, you, if you take care of your equipment, if your stylus is always uh, up to snuff, Clean your records. You know, don't don't bring them to parties. Don't get don't lend them out. You'll uh, your records will last forever. They'll outlast uh, all of us. So that's it. Um, just what's in heavy rotation and 
seven LPs that I usually only play one track, and I name those tracks. Uh, thank you. Hope you enjoyed this segment. It's a little different, and uh, leave your comments, and uh, please uh, help us out with subscribing, and uh, you'll be notified. We're going to try to do one of these every day or so. Okay, thank you. Keep rocking. LPs are us are out, and stay safe. Thank you. Bye-bye.